they want their hands in one seventh of the U.S. economy. Uh, I'm afraid you're absolutely right. Now think about this. <clears throat> there, there, there are some things that probably would be okay to keep. But is it easier to take this monstrosity that Obamacare represents? How many pages is it? It's thousands of pages long. 13,000 right? pages of writers. Yeah. And, and to put that in place and start dissecting it? Or does it, is it easier to kill the whole thing and then put some pieces back that you think are appropriate? It makes no sense. Oh, I agree. I mean, if you were cooking dinner and a rat climbed up on the table and swam around in the punch bowl, <laughs> you, you just throw the whole punch bowl out. <laughs> but instead, Obamacare is like a punch bowl with 55 dead rats in it. Right. Rotten floating rats. And they're saying, let's just ladle them out and then, <laughs> still, and then put it through a filter. Uh, Joseph Farah, are you going to, what would you do? Throw out the punch or, or just take the dead rats out? I would not only throw that punch out, but there's a whole lot of other punch I'd like to throw out. And we could have done that if the Republicans were true to what they claim to be all about, limited government. So how do we stop them? We replace them with constitutional libertarian patriots, which is what they know we're trying to do. That's why both parties have circled the wagons, spending money to kill the Tea Party. Which Karl Rove does. He has exactly. his he has his fake Tea Party. He's the architect. Group. Yeah. <laughs> and I got to sit next to the architect for three hours, and I can't, I I wish I had thought. You know, if I knew ahead of time, I'd have been able to come up with a a whole bunch. Was of he cackling and snorting the whole no, time? No. In fact, he he slept for a good hour. So did I. So. <laughs> and you didn't strangle him. <laughs> I'm joking. I was uh, on my best behavior. Uh, 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 oh my gosh. Uh, Joseph, I'm not a violent man. No, I'm joking. Now they're going to say Alex Jones wants to strangle Karl Rove. <laughs> it's a joke. Well, remember, it was Karl Rove who said he wanted to murder Todd Akin. Remember that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, and it was also Rahm Emanuel who would sit there talking about Republicans and Democrats at, at cabinet meetings screaming, die, die, die. Remember stabbing the table? Uh-huh. <laughs> so, so I'm joking. I don't want anything to happen to Karl Rove. I just thought I'd like to cheer you up today. You know, I saw your previous segment. You were so serious. And I think you got to lighten up a little bit. You know, I, roses. Joseph Farah, the head of World Net Daily, WND.com, is here with us in the studio. He's absolutely right. I am too serious. I'm freaked out. You're too wound up. Can't get, get anything done if you're too wound up. <laughs> you're right. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. You know what? I like Obama, then. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I agree with MSNBC. My kids belong to the government. By the way, I have to tell you, walking into your studios here, MSNBC's got nothing on you. Oh, I've come been, on. I, I've been in there many times. Well, 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 we're about to launch the new studio. <laughs> uh -huh. Should have been done six months ago. I've just been so busy. This is so cool. Do people know what you got here? This is amazing. No, it's like a little hidden command yeah. base. You don't say the name on the building, but as you notice, it's not yeah. very clandestine. You, same thing where we are, you know. Oh, yeah. So, you got a nice place. Yeah. Your place is really nice. Well, thank you. Better and yours is higher tech, though. Yours is really cool. I mean, I, I love the, the you got equipment and all kinds. Of, very impressive and a great staff. Well, they are good guys and gals, and, 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 and we're expanding the staff. You know, if people don't want to hear the gibbering redneck three hours a day, we've got all these great reporters now. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've got David Knight who fills in on the show, does a great job. And so we're trying to expand it out. So we've got some calm people here as well. <laughs> right. And then they just kind of wheel me out. <laughs> You're like the guy, what was that movie, Network? Howard uh, Beale. Yeah, Howard Beale, yeah. <laughs> the mad prophet of the airways. But That's you really, I was, you know, watching you just uh, in the last segment in the studio, I thought, wow, I'm getting, I'm getting scared here. You know, Alex is scaring me. I'm scared. Yeah. I mean, not scared like I'm in a fetal position. I'm really sick of the tyranny growing. I mean, we've gotten comfortable, Joseph, like we said last week, with them persecuting us. Mm -hmm. I mean, they really are persecuting people. And you said it a year ago, and I was like, oh, yeah, or two years ago on my show. You were right, man. Obama's going wild. You know, if I had thought of this, I would have told you to look up a YouTube video. That I just, you know, I've hardly been on the computer at all because of, you know, traveling and all the obligations I have here. But this morning, I saw a brand new YouTube posted. But it's from 1997, and it's Ron Paul, you may have seen this, talking about the BLM and what a threat it poses to property rights in the West. Well, we should play that tonight. Have It'll be Ron Paul and the BLM, no. And guess who he quotes? Who? Joseph Farah. He, he quotes an article that I wrote in the Houston Chronicle. This is going back to 1997. The thing is, Alex, this stuff's been going on for a long time, and I've been witnessing it, and maybe I, my immune system... 
is built up. No, 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 I agree. That's our blind spot, uh -huh. is that we've lived under the shadow of this dragon so long, we may not notice it's getting ready to sit on us. Mm -hmm. Joseph Fair is our guest. I'm Alex Jones. Stay with us. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions, silverlungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at silverlungs.com. That's silverlungs.com. How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at harvestright.com. It's been said, those who control the food, control the people. Are you concerned about GMO foods making you sick and affecting your mind? Many people suffer from lack of energy, insomnia, loss of stamina, weight gain, and the inability to think clearly. Genetically modified crops, processed foods, and toxic chemicals can compromise your health and are silently destroying your digestive system, which accounts for 80% of your immune system. Take back control of your health with Pro-EM1 Probiotic from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 Probiotic helps protect your body against irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, diabetes, the common cold, and much more. And including a powerful probiotic like Pro-EM1 as part of your daily routine puts you back in control and prevents you from becoming a mindless zombie manipulated by the pharmaceutical and GMO agendas. Call Terraganics at 866-369-3678 or visit Terraganics.com. T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. A few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supplies worldwide. Wide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. For a limited time, use the promo code WATER15 and get 15% off on all ProPure systems at InfoWarsStore.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. That's the sound of your door being kicked in by an intruder with a single kick. Criminals know that your wooden door frames are weak and your alarm system can't keep them out. That's the sound of the same door now protected by the door sentinel. Standard locks, deadbolts, and alarm systems can't prevent forced entry. Harden your door and door jam with a door sentinel. Protect your home now at MySafeDoor.com. Go to MySafeDoor.com for a special limited time offer. The door sentinel, your home's first line of defense. Mother's Day is right around the corner. If you haven't ordered Mother's Day flowers yet, visit proflowers.com for an amazing deal. Get 100 gorgeous blooms for mom with a free glass vase for $19.99. Her flowers are guaranteed to stay fresh and beautiful for at least one full week. The only way to get this incredible deal is to go to proflowers.com slash radio right now and enter the code PLOW, P-L-O-W. That's proflowers.com slash radio and enter code PLOW, P-L-O-W. Joseph Farah is our guest. Again, Joseph, I can throw out a lot of questions here, and I want to get into Ukraine. I want to get more into media matters with you. I want to talk about the new book you guys put out. It's got to have the best cover I've ever seen. Police State USA, we're going to talk about that. But, uh, you know, you've got a publishing empire, radio operations, TV news, one of the biggest news sites in the world. 
And as you just said, we found that Ron Paul video, we're going to post it on InfoWars.com, of, of, of him sourcing an article he wrote in the Houston Chronicle back in 97 about the BLM. There are the reverberations of the good you've done and others have done. There's also the, the reverberations of the bad. But why do you think they're launching such an unprecedented persecution of conservatives and libertarians right now? Because... Uh, like you said here a couple of years ago, you said when Obama gets reelected, he's going to try to kill us or arrest us. And I'm and off air. I said, are you serious? You said, listen, I've been doing this 40 years. I used to be a communist when I was a you know, teenager in college. <laughs> they mean business guaranteed. I mean it. Expand on that now. They don't have a sense of humor like we do. <laughs> okay, <laughs> they, they don't necessarily enjoy life the way we do. No, it's absolutely right. When. I watched Bill Clinton, be careful what I say here now, get away with murder, okay? Get away with murder, quite literally, you know, uh, and including using the IRS to go after his political enemies. Everything that you see Obama doing now, Clinton started it and got away with it. There were no repercussions. There was no, you know, consequences. And so thus, I knew that when Obama had the chance, he was going to do it, and he was going to do it bigger and better than Clinton did, and that's exactly what's been happening. And you know, you 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 were citing earlier the you know the communication stream of conspiracy come going after the end. Who are their enemies? Their enemies are law-abiding Americans. It's our names. Yeah, who disagree with? And they that. say in memos, we're going to target them, and then they come do it. Yeah, it's a criminal conspiracy. Right. Uh, now, why why do they do it? Why are they doing it now? Why is it on steroids now? Well, because they get away with it. I mean, how many congressional investigations can you have going on at one time? Benghazi and IRS, and you know, go down the list of all the Obama scandals and criminal activity. There are no consequences for any of it. There, it, it never comes to resolution. They stonewall, and then you have to ask yourself, how serious is the other party about actually bringing justice for anybody? And I don't know the answer to that. But I do know that we don't have a choice. We've got to put them to the test by throwing these rascals out. Because I, it, it is like I said, look, I did not enjoy eight years of the Bush administration, as you said earlier. I saw, you know, chaos and corrupt practices and, you know, crazy stuff, push the new world order, the whole night. And the bureaucracy power grabbing. Right. The one thing they didn't do is they didn't come and... You know, take my children away. They didn't. <laughs> they didn't try to put us in. MSNBC <laughs> runs promos saying we're coming for your kids. Exactly. I mean, they are like body snatching aliens or something. Yeah. So I said to you, and it was hard for me to say it, as you know, as the guy who wrote, uh, you know, uh, don't vote for, you know, uh, I mean, I was the guy. Who you wrote none of the above, right? Never vote for somebody who is not truly supporting the Constitution. A minimal requirement. Well, I knew. Mitt Romney wasn't a constitutionalist, but I thought it's an act of self-defense. And at times like this, you can see what's going on around us. We do need to act in our own self-interest sometimes. Otherwise, there won't be the voices of... No, I agree. I've always been such a purist politically, which is easy to do. But then you're on the enemies list because you're promoting freedom and a bill of rights. Right. And, they, and they're talking about how they want to arrest all their enemies. I mean, how do we act in self-defense then? What do we do, those of us that want to just preserve basic freedom? Well, the most important thing we can do, and I've said this before on your show, that is that we support one another. And I don't mean I have to agree with everything Alex Jones says or he has to agree with everything I, you know, I say. But we don't backbite. We keep the, the ammo going downstream with the enemy. And when you get in trouble, I got your back. That's what the way we have to be, because we, we actually believe in freedom. We actually believe in the First Amendment. We actually believe in liberty, and that you have to fight for those things. And if, if you get in trouble, even for saying something I might disagree with, I have to be there for you. And this is a very important concept. I've got to tell you, most people in our movement, in our profession, they do not practice this, Alex. They don't. You know it. I don't have to tell you. It's, we're all lone rangers. Have you ever gone crab fishing and you're dragging them up and you get like 20 crabs in a bucket and one will try to climb out and they go over and grab him? Uh -huh. But it's only when the crab tries to get out 
but they try to stop it. Uh huh. And then we're trying to get out of the crab bucket, and then Glenn Beck reaches over and <laughs> grabs you by the leg. And it's like, hey man, why are you doing that? And I look down at his little. We weren't gonna name names, were we? No, 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 no. <laughs> but, oh no, no. <laughs> I want to come back and get into the whole waterfront, take phone calls. But but how do we defeat the new world order? Straight ahead. We're on the march.